Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to convert a pivot table to a standard list or a table. Now, many times we come across various reports or tables built within pivot table and wished we could reuse that particular table for further analysis. I'm going to do just that by showing you how we can create another table from pivot table and be able to use it for further analysis. Now, within this data, I have monthly sales by location and product uh, the revenue margin and unit sold now i just want to basically get a summary of the revenue margin and unit sold at a location and product level so basically i just want to uh, see what kind of revenue i have for the four months uh, in various location across different products let me just quickly build a pivot table around this I go by going to the insert tab and inserting a pivot table in a new worksheet. Once I did that, I, I, I drag location and product to the rows area. That will that'll summarize the uh, data by location and product. Revenue, margin and units sold get, get into the values area. Now, once that is done, uh, obviously when we basically create a pivot table, the numericals uh, do not carry the currency. So I'm just going to change that. I'm going to go to value field settings and uh, click on number format, uh, currency and change it to uh, rupees with no decimals. Okay, I'm going to do the same for margin, value field settings, number format, currency and no decimals for rupees say okay now once that is done uh, I now I have a pivot obviously now I, I can reuse this data uh, but the only problem is that uh, it's it's not helping that easily or uh, that intuitively for me to uh, use this data again for analysis because you know the Bangalore is not repeated for each of the products if you go to the design tab of the pivot tables you will see there's an option called report layout in that you can simply choose show in tabular form now once you do that uh, it automatically brings up the subtotals uh, for each of the locations and obviously there is one gap uh, that is there for product two basically it means that bangalore should be here but it's not there uh, just, just that's because you know how the report uh, layout works but in the same report layout option there is something called as a repeat all items I'm going to select that and Bangalore will start getting repeated uh, across each of the product in the pivot table now, I do not want the subtotal because that defeats the purpose of this uh, new table so I'm just going to remove the subtotals I do not show subtotals now that's one thing now another thing is the grand total is also available obviously this is something that we do not want to see in our new table so what I'm going to do is remove uh, the grand totals for rows and columns so once I've done that uh, you will see now I have created another table that can be now reused as a summarized version of the previous table we have seen this is very intuitive and very easy to build I can simply now copy this data, uh, create another sheet, paste values. Once I do that, I just have the values. So the book, go back to the sheet, take the format and uh, put the format within this table to get all the numericals formatting done. And obviously I can change uh, the column names like I said earlier uh, to, to finish this output. Thank you for watching.